They tried to build an AI to help when hiring people for the company. And then they discovered that this AI never hired women. Hello, Mr. Bjorn Tao Sandberg, head of the Telenor Research. Very honored to be here to talk with you. Very happy to be here. Thank you. In year 2020, I read your trend, about 10 trends about the new technologies coming out. If we want to choose your most favorite three trends, what is it? Most favorite three trends, I think uh, I will choose uh, 5G mm -hmm. and uh, how 5G is going to create new partnerships mm -hmm. between mobile operators and other industries mm -hmm. and government. I would talk about uh, how uh, uh, green technology is developing and how it becomes more and more difficult for companies to, to say they are green and, and, and work for the environment and not do anything. Mm -hmm. And there are several trends that come as a consequence of the developments in mm -hmm. artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. which are also very exciting. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw the, the spec of 5G. Mm -hmm. We're quite amazed in the number of the speed mm -hmm. and the, the, the most admired about latency. Could you please tell us about the result that coming out from 5G network that reflect to the consumer? For the consumer, mm -hmm. I think the first thing you will experience mm -hmm. is that 5G will give more capacity in the mm -hmm. network. Mm -hmm. We are using uh, new frequencies, we are getting higher speeds, which means that your experience mm -hmm. of download speed, of streaming speed should be better with yes, 5G. And then 5G is, is very much for uh, industrial development. It is for building, for instance, an autonomous port where cranes and ships can, can move on their own and, mm -hmm. and they, are, they are connected using 5G I see. Or, or hospitals and, and that kind of thing. Nowadays in 4G, mm -hmm. we quite impressed in the speed that is, we, we can call fast enough for browsing the web, email or chat, right? But there are something else for for the consumer in 5G era? I think you will um, experience um, opportunities or, or, or there will be solutions such as online gaming mm. with very low uh, delay mm. in, in 5G. We can do cloud gaming also, right? For instance, cloud gaming. You know, Google has just launched a cloud gaming service mm. where you do not install the game on your phone or no your PC. No more installation. Exactly. I see. Mm. Reflect to uh, organization, corporate and also industry. Mm. What the benefit that they will get from 5G? Let me give you one very, very nice example. We're working with a hospital in, in, in Norway mm -hmm. on a research project mm -hmm. where they are developing what we call an, a diagnostic pill, which is a small device you actually swallow, has a camera, and this follows your digestive tract and takes pictures to see if everything is okay. Wow, inside and our body. Inside your body, yes. Wow. Exactly, and this pill is connected using 5G mm. to a computer with an AI mm. that analyzes these pictures in real time mm. and then can tell the camera to speed up or mm. slow down, mm -hmm. take more pictures or less if it sees something that is interesting. Mm. And then um, in, in a factory, you might want to, to automate more of the factory process. You mm -hmm. want to have uh, sensors on your uh, machines or you can have sensors on, on stuff that's moving or, uh, around the factory. Mm -hmm. And they are connected using 5G to, uh, to a controller. Great. Mm -hmm. And for the broadcasting, because uh, we doing the media, right? What mm -hmm. the benefit that we should get from 5G? I think uh, one, uh, one very good example of what is possible in entertainment or in, in podcasting, mm -hmm. in music, is that you could have uh, concerts, for instance. Mm -hmm. So you could have a piano player in one location, you could have a singer in another location, mm -hmm. and you in a third location, and they would actually play together because yes, there right. is no delay. I right? see. This kind of thing would be possible in mm. the first state of 5G rollout, or we need to wait mm. until two or three years from now. The marketing said, oh, fat test, the low latency. But anyways, we need to wait, right? You need to uh, build your network uh -huh. in order to, to, um, to give that experience, support that application. Uh -huh. And if you, for instance, want to have several locations mm -hmm. with uh, very low latency and, and do this, mm -hmm. uh, you need to have 5G in all those locations. Mm -hmm. And you need to have, for instance, fiber connections between those locations to make this work. So you need to wait for all the locations. Ah, I see. But if we talk into the negative, mm -hmm. negative, view that come out from the fastest speed 
or the lowest latency? Mm. Do you have something to let us be concerned? I struggle to find uh, find bad things with uh, with 5G. Uh, the, you are the positive person. Right? Yes, I'm the positive person <laughs> when it comes to comes to 5G. What I think we should be aware of is that uh, um, there is a lot of excitement uh -huh. around 5G, and there is uh -huh. good reason for that excitement. Uh -huh. But uh, it is very often true with new technology that mm -hmm. we tend to to overhype the technology mm -hmm. early, uh -huh. talk about all the benefits, and we all believe that this is going to come immediately. I see. Um, that's not going to happen, right? It's going to take a while uh -huh. for 5G to be built out. It's going to take a while for us to build these new exciting services. Mm. So it will not, uh, even if 5G is launched initially in maybe 2020, 2021 in Thailand, mm -hmm. you will not have all the services immediately. It will take a while. Uh -huh. so, so that's the only, if you want, negative thing. Mm. One of the 10 that you said, it's quite a new word for our society because last year we facing with a lot of problem on fake news. Mm. But you said that we were facing of the new thing called dirty data. What is that? Could you please tell the audience? Sure, dirty data. Uh, that is um, a problem we have when we build um, AI solution, artificial intelligence uh, programs, mm. solutions. Artificial intelligence today is really uh, what we call machine learning, where you show a lot of data, a lot of examples uh -huh. to the computer, mm -hmm. and then the computer learns a relationship between the data you have shown and, and some result in the real world. The problem is that if the data you use to train mm -hmm. the computer has errors in it or biases, then those errors will be part of the solution. Let me give you an example of that. Uh, a very famous example from Amazon. Uh, they tried to build uh, an AI to mm -hmm. help uh, when hiring people for the company. Mm -hmm. And they trained that AI on lots of historical data mm -hmm. for people who had been hired in Amazon. So all the data for these people. And then they built an AI and used it. And then they discovered that this AI never hired women. Mm -hmm. AI never hired women? Never hired women. And so you I ask yourself, answer. well, are women not as qualified? Are they not mm. as good? And obviously that's not true. They are. They found out that, well, because most of the existing employees in Amazon mm. were men, it was a very skewed company in that regard. Most of the data they had used to train this mm. AI said that to succeed in Amazon, you need to be a man because all the examples were men. And that's an example of dirty data. I see, I see, I see. Sometimes uh, bad result coming out from the dirty data. Yes. And how can you clean it? You have to be very aware of this problem when you build your AI. Mm. So you need to uh, either uh, make sure that the examples you include mm -hmm. are representative. You need to make sure that uh, the, the, the bits of data you include in your examples mm -hmm don't uh, tell the wrong story. So you need to, to solve this before you start training the AI. I see. So you need to audit your data, you need mm. to, to, to double check your data. And, and in reality, mm -hmm. around 80% of the time you, you spend, you invest when you build AI solutions, mm -hmm. is in making the data ready, cleaning the data, worrying about this kind of thing, mm -hmm. preparing it, and then you train the AI. Okay, thank you very much for your kind giving the... Thank you very wonderful and important information that prepare us to facing with 2020. Thank, Thank you. you very much for having Mr. me. Beyond. Thank you.